So, we are starting to acquire none. Those are going to be Let's go ahead and get this started. Now, here is one bit of bad news or good news. That's that. Unfortunately, I lost my gimbal. I know, I know. This is absolutely atrocious news. But, I guess in some ways it's good because you don't have to see such a long video. But I am going to try to capture as much as possible so that you can see some of the awesomeness. Just check my. Make sure that everything is going exactly as planned. Good. So, see the bridge all the way over there. This is the part that's gonna be not so much fun. And that is that we've got gravel, pebbles. Those of you who know, know that I do not like these pebbles. They're annoying. I know when I was actually scouting this trail, I did learn that there was gonna be plenty of gravel and pebbles, but as you We've already discussed this before. Yes, it's annoying, but I still prefer to do it this way. I did bring my sandals just in case it was really bad. But in the end, as I've said before, I will usually just run them. And as I've said before, since I don't have the gimbal, I do apologize for all the bouncing and jumping. You can really tell the difference, can't you? Because without the gimbal, the video here is bouncing a lot. Now in the past, I would stabilize it post uh, production and it works. But the problem that I have learned, especially in areas that are very green like this, is that stabilization brings its own problems, including making the entire trail blurry, especially on very complex scenes, like here where there's a lot of uh, leaves and stuff. Well now, oh, there we go. There we go. Well, this is interesting. The trail is all over the place. There are lots of little sub trails, so there's that. The other thing is I guess I'm forced to go kind of slow. I can't go too fast because <laughs> as you can tell, I will just get lost along this trail. But if you pay attention, it seems pretty obvious where the trail goes. Well, my watch keeps saying that I'm going too slow. I'm doing a 12 minute pace. Sorry, buddy. Ooh, little fruits. Look out there. 
<laughs> it is hard to run here. <laughs> but at least if I'm running slow, which is, I already know this, if I'm running slow, I'm less likely to feel um, annoyance with the ground. So the ground is not nearly as troublesome. It looks like I'm a little off trail. So that's probably why this trail looked so... But there, I'm back on the main trail. Yeah, that was fun anyway. Pretty cool, huh? This is what they named the island after. Oh, Theodore, not Franklin. Okay, so it's the, the earlier Roosevelt, not the later one. If you're wondering if it hurts, yes, yes, it hurts. It always hurts. Lap three, 923, heart rate 138, average pace 1026. I'm not as slow as I was in the <laughs> Midnight, might as 
Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Step, 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 step. Here we go. 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 Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Amazing. Yeah. I'll go over here so I can stay out of people's way. Everybody has to enjoy it and I agree. This is awesome. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Now let's keep going. You got a little park run over here. Out there. Okay. We're on trail. There's a couple of tourists that actually wanted to take a picture with me, so I, I took a couple of, like three or four shots with them. <laughs> I guess, uh, you know, it's such an unusual sight. See some crazy guy shirtless running, bare feet. <laughs> They're probably like, yeah, it's Jungle Man. Let me take a picture with you. <laughs> here we go, here we go, here we go. Check that out.
Lap 4, 1021. Heart rate 142. Average pace 1025. My arm is hurting now, so I'm going to have to stop pretty soon. Lap 6, 929, heart rate 135, average pace 1013. It's really only about 5. Did I ever tell you how much this makes my arm hurt? Okay, time to turn around. to the airport.
Did I ever tell you that when you look at your GPS, it feels like it takes forever? <laughs> Finally. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. Let's take a break. Okay, so we <clears throat> are done with a little more than two miles of cooldown and about 10.69 miles of run. It was supposed to be 10.3, but oh well, no, no biggie. Um, the run itself, there were parts where I would take it easy because I had no choice. You know, when I ran up to the 
Lincoln thing. And there are parts where I just ran way too hard. I can tell uh, there, there, some of those parts I just pushed too hard. And so on balance, yeah, this run was a bit hard. I shouldn't have pushed so hard. I should have taken it a little more easily. As I've said before, sometimes if I don't use a heart rate monitor, I actually push too hard. So that's part of the problem. But apart from that, the actual trail, the run uh, was absolutely amazing. I mean, we got to see um, the monument for um, Roosevelt and it was Theodore Roosevelt. I, I actually always thought that it was Franklin Delano Roosevelt, but the Delano Roosevelt um, monument I'd seen last night. So I guess I should have known better. Anyway, then we get, made it to the Lincoln Monument. And as I told you, some folks actually took a picture, took pictures with me because, you know, the crazy guy. Uh, that was always cool. Uh, we made it all the way over to the World War II Monument. And from the World War II Monument, we come back across the other bridge. We get to see the Potomac from both sides. We roll all the way down to the airport. And we even get to see some of the airplanes flying off. Wasn't that awesome? And then coming back up, by that point, I was pretty beat. I was beat. So that, yeah, that was hard. Making it back here was a struggle and a half. And then my cool down actually was uphill. So, but apart from that though, I think this was a successful run. The only thing I do regret a little is I didn't get to, like I said, I had lost my gimbal. Yeah, stupid me, but you know, I, it hurt, it hurt, but that's what I need to do is absorb that pain, learn my lesson and not be so careless. And I won't be. So, but apart from that, at least the run was good. And hopefully soon enough, I will get another gimbal and we will make longer videos. Oh no, no more long videos. Yes, for some of you, it actually is great. Others, I probably, I'm probably sure they will do that. Okay, either way, this was a good run. You should run it too. But until next time, don't forget to challenge yourself.